Hey everyone, William Cutting 08 here again, and today I would like to show you my favorite way to wrap um, my rat Izula. And let me first off um, say that I am going to be using two different colors once again. Um, I just uh, I tied these two together using the overhand bend, and you'll need about five feet of paracord and you'll find the midpoint and place that midpoint right here on the finger choil area of the handle. Now I hope you guys um, can understand this but anyway uh, this is probably the most difficult uh, paracord wrap that I'm going to show um, but it is definitely worth it if you can get the pattern down. So what you want to do is um, you're going to have the two strands. Notice how the black is on the left and the tan is on the right. You're going to want to take your index and your thumb, put it in between the strands of paracord, put it in between while holding the rest of the paracord with your the rest of your fingers. So you have it like this. Now you're going to want to twist it 360 degrees and then bring the handle uh, bring the paracord over the handle, the end of the handle, just like that, and you'll have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to show that one more time, because it is kind of confusing. So you'll take your index and your thumb, put it in between, twist it 360 degrees, and feed the end of the handle through uh, that paracord just like that. And then you'll want to um, tighten it as tight as possible. Now you'll want, also want to make sure that um, it's in the middle. You don't want the paracord to look like this and you also don't want it to look like that because it's very easy to do that. You want the paracord, um, you want both to be equally on each side and you want it to be directly in the middle. So we have something like this. Now you'll flip it over. Also, you want to pay, I forgot to mention, you want to pay attention to which way you twist the paracord. In my case, um, I twisted it counterclockwise, and you want to stay consistent with which way you twist it. Go ahead and twist it the same way on each side. So I'm going to twist counterclockwise on both sides. So there we go, we have that. It's in the middle. Okay, we're on the opposite side, fingers um, in between the strands, twist it 360 degrees, bring it over the end of the handle, tighten it off, make sure it's in the middle, somewhat in the middle. Okay, do the same thing with this one, clockwise, counterclockwise, <laughs> sorry, 360 degrees, make sure it's tight and in the middle. Okay, flip it over, twist it 360 degrees counterclockwise, make sure it's in the middle, tighten it, and you can actually see that the pattern's starting to develop on the handle. And you just continue that pattern all the way up towards the um, end of the handle. And as you, as you practice this, you'll get really good, kind of like, I'm making this look really easy. Um, so don't be scared at first, give it a try, and once you get the pattern down, I guarantee and I promise you that it is easy to do. Um, just like that, twist it, just like so, okay, twist it again, just like so, and you'll notice that you can kind of see through, uh, the handle. Now you can choose to leave it like that or you can um, fix that by just pushing down on the paracord, pushing down, um, pushing the uh, blah, pushing the, car the paracord down towards the blade and that gives you some extra room. So there we go, just do that. Okay, continue. And I'll show you one more time 
what that looks like. Okay, so we have that. And you have your separate strands, and you'll take your index and your thumb, put it in between, grasp the rest of the paracord, twist it 360 degrees, and bring the end of the handle through and over, or bring the paracord over the end of the handle, just like that. And as you're getting towards the end of the handle, go ahead and bring the wrap um, about one-fourth of the of the ways over the lanyard hole. So then you have something like this, and I'm going to do one more actually. I'm going to do one more. Just like this. Actually, about halfway. I said one fourth. So you have that, and if you notice that the black strand is already wanting to go through the lanyard hole, just like that and then you'll just take this tan strand and feed it through. So you want the strands to go to feed through the lanyard hole in opposite, opposite directions. So you just do this. And I'm going to finish this off just like that right quick. And I'm going to do one more. Okay, and then you just move that aside and hold it down. And you do the same with the black. Almost done. And I'm going to do one more. Oops, there we go. Now, since I'm almost out of the tan strand and I have more of the black, I'm just going to do um, the basic overhand knot and just make a loop and then feed the, the ends of the strand uh, directly through that loop just like that. Feed both strands actually. Let's see if I can... There we go. Just like that. And then tie it as tight as possible so it doesn't come undone. And I have tons of black um, paracord so what I'll do is I'll just cut it right here and then burn it with a lighter to um, seal up so it doesn't, so the paracord doesn't unravel. But as you can see here, um, it is a really nice uh, paracord wrap. It gives the handle kind of kind of an oval shape, so it's very comfortable to use. Um, very aggressive texturing, so you get a good grip and it's comfortable to use. But um, there you go. That I'm gonna call this the 360 degree Strider paracord wrap because. Um, I first saw this paracord wrap on Strider for Strider Knives uh, website, and they and if my video is confusing, then use their website because they show you how to do it. But they only show you pictures on how to do this paracord wrap. But um, there it is. That's my favorite paracord wrap, and it looks excellent and superb. So you guys have a nice day. And um, stay tuned because I have at least one more paracord uh, wrap video that I would like to share with you. You guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.